Holy shit, that's 16 separate strategies for manipulating the audience into boosting the stream's statistics. You want to know the only thing he doesn't do? As many of you may know, a few weeks ago I launched an investigation into a mass of comments on YouTube asking if you want to be friends. As I was gathering research and looking into it, I stumbled across a live stream on YouTube from one of the bots. Whilst what I found was incredibly interesting, it didn't feel relevant to the investigation I was doing. However, it does include some very deep manipulation tactics, so I thought I'd shed some light on it now that a lot of dust has settled. The first thing to note is that this stream will have anywhere from 70 to 2,000 live viewers, which is pretty good for YouTube especially for a new non-established channel. No shade thrown, Logan. The stream seems topical, being based on a live event in Fortnite, so there's a good reason to watch it authentically. Now, this stream is genius, for reasons I'll soon describe. But firstly, I'm going to lead you through what a typical viewer's reaction to this stream might be, if they didn't know who Logan was. Click on the video and straight off the bat, there's a lot going on. It looks like a really professional stream. Who is excited for this event to start? I know I am, boys. Logan is already asking who's excited, which will get some active responses in chat, and it seems like he's paying attention to the audience. The event is starting very soon. So the first area to divert your attention is the event timer on the left side of the screen. This makes it seem like we're very close to the Doomsday Flood event, which is what a lot of the people will have turned up for, as it's in the title, and they're interested in seeing what it looks like. Note that Logan is also giving away gifts if you type exclamation mark gift in chat. What gifts? Who knows? But he's giving them away so easily, so he must be a really friendly guy. Only three minutes away, so it's worth sticking around for three minutes, right? If you want to get, all you have to do is use creator code Canadian on the screen. Then you have the support a creator code, giving the owner, the comical Canadian, rewards, whilst also being the only part of the stream that does actually reward the viewer. And hit like and subscribe, and hit the bell to turn on post notifications, boys. It's followed by a call to action, slightly suggesting that engaging with the video is necessary to get the rewards mentioned. Make sure you are using creator code CANADIAN, C-A-N-A-D-I-A-N, in the Fortnite item shop, so it does let me gift you a skin. Okay, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not how creator codes work, but it might be an honest mistake. Using a creator code doesn't enable the creator to manually gift you skins like that. Also, I am looking right now in the chat. The next two people to subscribe and like will get a shout out, boys. Who wants a shout out? Oh my gosh. Who wants a shout out? Who wants a shout out? Who wants a shout out? Giving a shout out to people who engaged with the video. That's typical stream affair. Although he mentions you have to like and subscribe to get the shout out, despite not being able to see who's actually liked and subscribed. All right, guys. We are, oh my gosh. Huh. Weird. He didn't actually give a shout out, and of all the things, I would have thought that that'd be the easiest to do. Look at the rest of the screen, we're so close to our sub goal! Everyone, hit the subscribe button, you need that one nice person to subscribe with post notifications, boys. You need that one nice person to subscribe with post notifications. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. He's about to hit a massive milestone. If I'm not subscribed, then all I need to do is hit subscribe, and I'll be the reason he hits 100,000 subscribers. That's awesome. It's live as well, so we'll get to see his reaction to hitting the milestone, which gives us even more incentive to do it. If you guys want mods, spam F, I'll give it to you guys. I don't really care. Just don't do anything dumb with it. Don't ban anyone, guys. Spam F, spam F. I'm giving mod right now, boys. Let's go spam F, boys. He's also giving mod to anyone who types a single letter and it seems genuine because he's asking people not to be done with it, so he must be fairly generous and carefree. I guess I'll type F. Most people like the idea of being a mod, it makes us feel important. If you guys want to win the V-Bucks Battle Passes or Battle Pass tiers, make sure you do subscribe with post notifications on, and you have used creator code CANADIAN. V-Bucks Battle Passes and Tiers? Just for subscribing? This guy must be spending a fortune on rewarding his viewers. How awesome. Let's go! Who is excited for this event to start? I know I am, boys. Wait a second. This sounds familiar. Oh, that's because it is familiar. It loops after just a single minute of unique dialogue. I should mention this is an old screen recording and I stopped once it looped, so the only thing you're missing is the fact that whilst the audio loops, the footage and timers do not, so it gives the illusion of the stream still being live and carrying on, with the timer getting closer to zero. Otherwise, it keeps on repeating, over and over, suddenly drawing into question everything we've just heard. 
So, let's bring out our inner Bill Murray and revisit this from the very start. Who is excited for this event to start? He asks who's excited, but he's not actually live to read and engage with your responses. This boosts viewer engagement with more comments on the stream. The event is starting very soon. The timer on the left gets closer to zero, making sure people stay in the hope that they get to see the event. It also makes them feel like they just missed the noteworthy part of the content, but if they stay, they'll get to see it. And then, Logan can count on them witnessing all the other manipulation tactics. Once the timer hits zero, it resets to five minutes, so it always seems like it's close to happening. At this point, it's very clear that typing gift into chat will not actually get you a gift, but what it will get you is more stream engagement meaning better performance. Use creator code Canadian. The creator code is genuine and benefits both the creator and the viewer, but at no cost to Logan. He's not actually doing you a favour here, it doesn't cost him anything. So it does let me gift you a skin. He also says that subscribing and turning on post notifications means he can give you skins. Guess, Guess what, what boys? boys? It, it doesn't. doesn't. That's, That's bullshit. bullshit. Two people to subscribe and like, we'll get a shout out boys. We also now know why he promised a shout out but didn't give any because he's not even seeing the responses. People naturally want a shout out, so they post comments hoping to get one, which feeds the algorithm even more to make the stream appear higher up in suggested and search results. We're so close to our sub goal. His subscriber count is also permanently at 99,999, so new viewers will be tricked into thinking that he's super close to a milestone that they can help him hit giving him a crap ton of new subscribers. This is also why he has his sub count disabled on his channel so it can't be seen on YouTube. It's so he can fake it without people ever knowing. He might only have 5,000 subscribers, he might have 500,000, but he can always make it seem like he's close to a milestone. If you guys want mod spam F, I'll give it to you guys, I don't really care. Telling people he'll make them mod is also BS. More comments for him. This also explains why he's supposedly giving mod to anyone who asks for it, but there are seemingly no mods in the stream chat. If you guys want to win the V-Bucks battle passes or battle pass tiers, make sure you do subscribe with post notifications on. Offering V-Bucks and shit for subscribing is just yet another way of tricking young, naive viewers into subscribing. Anything, Anything to get those V-Bucks, am I right? Who is excited for this event to start? I know I am. And then it loops. So now let's count up all the ways there are to boost engagement in this stream. <gasps> Asking who's excited, having a fake timer, having the timer forever close to zero, offering gifts for typing gift, having a creator code saying he can give you skins for subscribing, offering shout out, having a sub count close to a milestone, disabling his public sub count so he can lie about it, bringing attention to it in the stream and saying he's close, offering mod to anyone who types F, reinforcing this in the stream, offering V-Bucks for subscribing, saying subscribing increases your giveaway chances, having a clickbait title, and having the entire stream looping so that new viewers will keep falling for it. Oh, and also finally, having the chat move so fast, that people who call it fake will get drowned out in Fs and gift messages. Holy shit, that's 16 separate strategies for manipulating the audience into boosting the stream statistics. You want to know the only thing he doesn't do? He doesn't ask his audience to share the stream. No doubt, because it will raise awareness of how much of a scam it all is. Well, don't worry Logan buddy, I've got you covered. I'll share this stream with everyone and make sure they know just how talented you really are. Now I know you may be thinking, Who the hell cares? And well, I don't stream. I can't stream. But my friends do. I have Rage Gaming Videos Josh, Generation Hollows Aaron, Captain Flukes Emily, and even Lag X Peanut Ponies Tio. These people bust their balls and break their backs, producing amazing streams. Streaming is really hard work, and I know people who are just over the moon to get even a handful of viewers whilst they stream. But when you have dickheads like Logan manipulating the algorithm, it's not only disrespectful to people who put effort into making their streams, but it's also actively affecting their source of income. A streamer's most valuable currency is time, and when you have a couple of thousand people wasting their time watching a stream like Logan's, they're not watching the streams that the hard-working content creators produce. And this is their career, it's how they pay the bills, and I think it's important even if I don't actively participate in it. And you know what? I care. I care enough to spend over a week working on this video. I care enough to go back into this whole Logan issue despite the fact I just want it to be behind me. I care enough to re-record half an hour of audio because it got distorted. And I could have made the video with that audio, but you want to know what that would have sounded like? 
Asking who's excited, having a fake timer, having the timer forever close to zero, offering gifts for typing gift, having a creator code. Yeah, imagine listening to that shit for 15 minutes. So this is an issue close to my heart because it affects the people I know. I don't think I'm going to try and start some movement or get large content creators to talk about this but I would like them to know about it. So I won't push this as much as I did before, but I'm going to be putting out a tweet alongside this video and tweeting it to Team YouTube, hopefully getting some traction just so that they can prevent people like this I'm gonna call it stream scumming, because that's what it is. It's manipulation, it's not providing an entertaining stream, it's just using every tactic you can to scum the stream and beat the algorithm yet again. So yeah, if you care about this as much as I do, then I'd appreciate a retweet. It's not going to change the world, but it might make the platform a better place. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I'm really looking forward to getting back to my regular content, and if you want to help or join in on some videos in the future, then the Discord is the place to be. If you enjoyed this video, then a like goes a long way, but I'm afraid it won't boost your chances of winning any bullshit giveaway. And I'm afraid no, turning on the notification bell will not give you free V-Bucks. God damn it! It'll just make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Thanks for staying until the end of the video, I love you guys, have a great day, I mean it.